I stayed in the township with my brother, but I had real problems in the township. I was always drunk. I knew I had to leave. And so I ended up in town, you know, on the street actually. And the first two weeks, I stayed on the street in Cape Town and I was a little bit afraid to sleep on the street. And, and so later when I really became tired and I wanted to sleep, I made a walk towards the mountain. And yeah, I slept there one night and the next morning I was fine and I think I stay here for a while. And you know, I stayed in the mountain for five years then. And then in desperation, I was really hungry again. And a church in, um, in Cape Town off Queen Victoria Street run soup kitchen. And um, a Tuesday morning, while I was really hungry, I went to the soup kitchen and stand in the line for some soup. But somebody was running a drawing class, painting drawing class in the soup kitchen. And you know, the soup kitchen is really wild and people were fighting to eat. And I decided I'm not going to fight, I'm going to stand with the painter. And, and so I made little drawings and pencil drawings with him. And um, yeah, that was my real first experience with um, actually painting or drawing with my hand or myself. And then the church had a fundraiser. And in the fundraiser, people felt that my work were quite strong, that I maybe should try something with it. And two weeks later, I was on an international workshop. So things really started for me, actually leaving home and staying in the mountain. I very much paint, and um, in the last seven years, I've been traveling to and fro Germany. And somehow the block says, has become a concreteness also in my um, everyday creativeness, you know, because with the block you can do exactly what you want. If they are not liked, they are back with you, but somehow my blocks never end up being back with me. They somehow, they, they, they move fast. And so the creative block has helped me often to, um, to find things in my work. You know, I relate things, I paint on a small scale and then all of a sudden I have my own work. And then I, I always work in between things. So I take things from the creative block to my work and back. So I can always have a rhythm that the creative block is not like I do it for somebody. It's still my work. And I want to keep it, that relationship between work that I would do it in this way. And so, yeah, I think, yeah, I would like to, to stay a little bit longer with this.